Hi, uh, I'm Eddie from Paramix and uh, I decided to create a new series um, of uh, tutorial videos called Spreadsheet Basics which um, teaches you all you need to know about spreadsheets and thus allowing you to uh, build your own spreadsheet applications or, or prototypes. Now the first question is what are spreadsheets for? Well, you can do a lot of things with spreadsheets. You can, for instance, uh, put data in tables. That's one of the very common uses of spreadsheets. But more commonly, uh, spreadsheets are being used for calculations in order to do some um, calculations or to depict some diagrams. Uh, you can also use spreadsheets as databases where you input a substantial amount of data and have the spreadsheet also or, or or have the spreadsheet help you find certain data sets. Uh, spreadsheets can also be used for data analysis. Uh, so you got like uh, some complex data and you wish to read it better or check out some scenarios. So you want to see what would happen if uh, these and these, this and this parameter changes. That's where spreadsheets come in. And one other thing you can do with spreadsheets is basically create applications. Actually, um, I use that kind of stuff a lot. Um, I produce a lot of custom software and uh, I use spreadsheets to build a, 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 a quick prototype for the client to see, to use, to give feedback on before embarking on the real programming exercise. So uh, spreadsheets are quite useful, are very useful here. Um, one of my favorite programs is Microsoft Excel. It has a lot of functions in it and is a very uh, nice handling application. Uh, OpenOffice and LibreOffice have also got uh, spreadsheet applications which are open source and freely available on the internet. And uh, <coughs> they are quite as functional as Excel, yet although they don't have that finish as Excel, but that's only my opinion. Um, what I'm using here on the, for, for my videos, I'm using LibreOffice and uh, all the stuff that, that I'm doing in, in those videos can be done in Excel or in OpenOffice. And, um, let me start with the basic components of a, of a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is a file which you save and that file contains numerous tables or sheets. I got here like three sheets. I can obviously with this, with this uh, uh, icon I can obviously add some more sheets and I can delete sheets that I don't need just by right clicking and then delete sheet. Okay, and um, each sheet has a bunch of columns. Each column has uh, is called by an alphabet A, B, C, D, and so on. And each row uh, is called by a number, like five, ten, and so on. So uh, <clears throat> the basic building block of each sheet is the so-called cell, and a cell is nothing more than a combination of column and row and a cell's name is basically the column name plus row name in that order so this cell is called c6 not 6c but c6 and you can easily see the name here c6 this one would be e3 first column and then the row <coughs> let me put some data so we can play around a bit I'm going to build a shopping list, so number, and one, two, three, four, and five, and here are the items that I plan to buy, soap, shampoo, then something to eat, beans, chips, and something healthy, oranges. So some of the basic operations that you can do in spreadsheets are, for instance, formatting, 
let's say I want to this is this is a, a align everything uh, uh, make it centrally aligned so basically I just have to select either I select a range of cells like that I can select a whole column or multiple columns just by dragging equally I can select multiple rows just by selecting one row and then dragging down or obviously up upwards I can select the whole sheet going clicking on that symbol here and everything is selected so now if I want to align everything on the center oh, there you go if I want to have all my headlines in bold just take row one and make it bold now the symbols here they change from application to application but basically they do the same thing yeah I think in Excel that symbol would be B for bold but it basically does works the same way um, I can also change the font let's say I want to make it bigger or smaller it doesn't matter okay this is the kind of stuff you can do these are some basic operations that you can do um, what you also can do, one important one important um, thing about um, spreadsheets is a so-called autofill this is a, this is something that you're gonna be using day in day out with spreadsheets and the way it works is like this. Let me put some text here. Let's say car. If I go to the lower right end uh, edge or corner of that cell, my uh, cursor or mouse uh, cursor will, will change into a black cross. And then if I drag down, I will fill the subs those cells shown in red here with the content from above. Now in the case of text, you just copy the text downwards. But you can also drag, you can also autofill to the right. You can also autofill oops, to the left. And you can auto autofill to the top. No problem. Just with text, it's nothing exciting or nothing to get excited about because you're just copying the text over to the cells. It gets more interesting with numbers. And later with uh, with calculations, let, let's try a couple of numbers. Let's say I got like one and two. And if I select both and then autofill, I get a sequence. And if I have numbers like that, five and seven, now guess what the sequence is gonna be here? It's gonna be a range of odd numbers greater than seven. And that's why you always gotta have two numbers because these two numbers or, or, or let me put it this way through these two numbers Excel can uh, see what kind of sequence are we talking about here in this case it was a normal sequence so the next one was the next number was three four and so on here the sequence is add two so basically here you're getting all the odd numbers you can have a sequence like that one eleven so guess what the next number is gonna be 21 31 and so on yeah you can also use autofill for uh, type numbers. Let's say your company produces something called the M1 and the M2 and so on. So you just drag it down as far as you want and you got all your types here. Okay, so basically here, what I did initially, I uh, typed each number, but if I've had a long list, typing a lot, a long, a lot of numbers is just is just a drag. So what I do, I just autofill. Much simpler. Another thing what you can do with Excel, you can move cells just like uh, 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 domino uh, pieces. So let's say I want to move the oranges. I just go to the edge, click on the cell, and just go to the edge of the cell, and just drag it now, I can do that with a range as well I select a range of cells go to the edge of the cell oops and drag it okay so these are some basic operations you do with Excel uh, in further videos uh, I'm gonna show you how to calculate with Excel and how to do some complex calculations with Excel, how to do some diagrams, databases, 
and stuff like that. So um, I'm I'm quite excited about this course because uh, it's the first time I do that over a, a series of videos, and um, I look forward to your feedback or questions. Just post them in the comments.